Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today we're going to make some little resin pieces for Christmas. So the molds that I have from BarkandRollback.com is I have a gingerbread one with candy canes, and then I have another Christmas themed one. You can make a lot of different things. You can make candy, you know, using these molds, but if you're using it for resin, don't use it for food. Um, you could do little soaps, little holiday soaps would be really cute to have in the bathroom. I'm going to do little resin pieces that could either be jewelry, little ornaments, or, um, you know, little things that you can tie onto like gifts for gift tags or something. And these are shiny. They have a shiny finish. So you can easily use some metallics and stuff like that. That would show up pretty nicely. You can, um, you know, include some glitter into it. That would be cool. I think I'm going to start with the gingerbread man first. We're going to give him some white, pearl white buttons. I'm going to just use my skewer stick because that is the easier way to go and I'm going to just dot his buttons. There, There's one. Okay, then I'm going to do his eyes, his nose, and his mouth. And then the little squigglies on his arms and his legs. And then I'm going to move on to the candy cane and I'm going to put the white stripes on the candy cane. Alright, so there is the gingerbread man and um, the candy cane. So the snowman, I'm going to work on him, and I'm just using regular acrylic paints for all of this. So we're going to do these two ways. First off, the ones that I painted, and the other ones we're going to leave plain and paint them after. So I've mixed my resin, and I did the easy cast. I got it well mixed, and I'm going to use a bunch of different colors. So the first one we're going to do is a chunky red glitter, okay? And we're going to put it in the one that I painted and then ones that I have not. Then I'm also going to put the red in one of the stockings. And if I have enough, I'm going to pour it in a Santa. All right, this next one, I'm going to do a copper because I don't have brown. So we're going to get, let all of this sit. I'm going to hit it with the lighter, pop any bubbles, and then let this sit for 12 hours before we unmold it. Okay, guys, it is time to unmold these. And we're going to start with Santa. And all we did was just the plain red glitter on him, so we will touch him up with some paint. Here's one where we painted it ahead of time, and you can see the stars and the ornaments. Here's a snowman. There's a pre-painted candy cane. Now what I'm going to do is paint these after the fact and you can paint them beforehand like this and then it really becomes one with the resin and it doesn't scratch off. But sometimes when they're this small it's easier to do it after. So what I am going to suggest is using a multi-surface paint because that's going to adhere better to the resin than just an acrylic paint. An acrylic paint will eventually um, scratch off. Now depending on what I'm painting I often like to paint with skewer sticks. So that's what we're going to do with this, because it is so small. I've got my multi-surface paint, and I'm going to just use it as sort of a pen or paintbrush. So then you just set that aside to dry. Now that everything is painted and dried, all you need to do is get a jewelry bale. And they come in a lot of different sizes and styles and finishes. And here are just a few shapes and styles and sizes. You can get them online, you can get them at the craft stores. Um, you can get them just about anywhere. And they're glue-on, so you don't need to drill anything um, or anything like that. Easy to use. And all you want to do is take a glue that will adhere to metal and adhere to um, whatever piece you're gluing it to, so like the resin piece. So you add a little glue, place it on, let it dry, and now you're going to have a really cute necklace or whatever you want, whatever you want to use it for. 
So I hope you like these little pieces that are perfect for jewelry. I will have the link to the mold in the description below. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Be sure to check out some of my other videos, and I will see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting.